Oh, this is Maker J handed one. And here's the spinner head from my um, LED light ball. The red LED, I was running it and it broke off. So I um, decided to sort of rebuild this part. Um, <clears throat> because the wires are, it's been repaired so many times and it's so off balance. So I'm going to repair it with stronger wires. I think I'm going to use paper clips because they're pretty strong. Um, so yeah. So the motor shaft there, I already soldered it off the motor shaft. So I'll just continue working on it. Okay, so I've got the LEDs all unattached, and it's all disassembled. Well, not that part, but this part. So now I've straightened my paper clips out and tinned them, and then I have soldered them together in the middle, so that's going to go on the motor shaft, right like that. And I'll, I gotta figure out, um, or I'm gonna straighten out the wires too, so that they're not, so they're not like a tripod like that. And then I'm debating about putting another wire either here or I mean all the way around to make it a little stronger or something like that um, I'm not really sure so I have to figure that out still to make it a little bit stronger so they don't bend as easy so I don't know okay so <clears throat> I've got the I made another um, tripod thing out of um, paper clips and I soldered them together to give it um, more strength so it's double thick now so now this is going to go onto the motor shaft and then the LEDs will go right on the ends here so these wires right here will be soldered to here so that will support all of the strain on the LED and then the there will be heat shrink holding it to this wire right here and I think I'm going to have another wire that goes just to here to here to there to there just to make it a little bit stronger so yeah okay so <clears throat> I've got it soldered onto the motor shaft it's real strong there and I've also got these other little support wires soldered on too and that'll keep it from um, bending this way um, but because I have two stuck together so it's two thick paper clips this way it's not it's really rigid this way but I needed something to strengthen it for this way so that should be pretty strong so the next step will be to um, take the LEDs and um, I think first I'll heat shrink right here on so that that can basically slide there and then I'll solder those wires on okay so I've got it um, heat shrinked on so I don't have it soldered on yet so it basically just can slide right off so all the um, the weight of this will be supported by the um, wires there which are <coughs> glued to the casing of the LED so the um, leads of the LED will not be taking any um, force at all and that's what I want okay so I've got the <coughs> LED support wires soldered up so they look pretty good so this the support part is mainly finished. I just have to um, solder up the wires, the uh, volt, the power wires. Okay, so I have the wires all soldered up. So the black wire just goes to the um, the frame, and then the positive goes to the um, <clears throat> little variable resistor. So and I tested it out, and it works. So that's good. Okay, so I've just put a bunch of hot glue all over this to hold it so it doesn't spin because the um, plastic part rotates on the shaft. <clears throat> or it or it can rotate on the shaft. It's not glued on. So, and then I'm going to patch this side up with more glue too. Okay, so I, here it is. It's put on. Um, so I did test it out already and it does work. I can't really test it out right now though because the control panel is kind of a mess right now because I'm working on modifying that too um, but <clears throat> I got it all glued up and it's very sturdy I've run it a few times and it doesn't bend at all or anything like that so it's perfect and I also replaced the 10 ohm resistor that was right here for the LEDs to a 100 ohm resistor and I got rid of the motor resistor 
Well, actually, I added it down there. I took it off, and then I found that I actually did need it because the motor was overheating because this is a 9-volt motor, and I was running on 12 volts, so. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.